Hello, my name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. In August of 2019, as you guys know, I moved into a house with some friends and it has been a wild ass ride, but the time has come to move. So there are a few reasons as to why I'm moving, but the main one is my roommate, Anna, bought a house. Congrats, let's give a round of applause. Congrats, big girl teens, big girl teens. I don't think I'll ever find like such a great roommate situation. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna live, I'm not gonna stay here. <laughs> I'm not gonna live here through some probably terrible roommates knowing my luck. I'm I'm gonna move back home with my <laughs> Yeah, so moving back home with my parents because I want to save money for Some things that are coming up. That is where we are currently and I thought I would vlog my last week here So today is Wednesday. It's 7 p.m. I was supposed to start this a lot earlier, but I didn't and we move everything out on Saturday so that'll be really interesting because we have not packed we have not done anything oh another fun thing is we are also in the process of finding people to, t to take our spots so basically our lease is actually until next july july 2021 but we talked with our landlord we were like hey how y'all doing uh we want to not live here anymore so basically we talked with our landlord and came to an agreement that if we could find three people to take our spots we would be able to break our lease that has been a challenge that's like the, that was literally like the last hurdle that we need to get over but obviously covid has made has changed everyone's lives and not a lot of people are really looking to move out so yeah i thought i would vlog and take you guys along with me on this last and this last week of living in this really cute house basically there's been like three years of friends all living in this house like people coming and going it's been such a beautiful and amazing house to host parties, have get togethers. I started my business in this house. It's actually really sad that this era is coming to an end, this chapter of my life, this season of my life is coming to a close. Oh, first things first, is we're getting rid of this damn chair. But yeah, I've loved living in the middle of the city and having so much to do like the first year, like honestly up until COVID, it was the best place ever to live. And I couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity that I got. So thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna show the camera this, but the view I'm looking at right now is so like melancholy. You know vibes? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're done. How could you? <laughs> You guys, listen, listen to this. I've taught this dog, this is my roommate's dog, Dolly. I've taught her to stick her tongue out. Show me your tongue. Oh wow, okay. I look like shit. <laughs> Good morning, um, it's me. Today's Thursday and I need to actually start packing. <sighs> gonna tackle this this hutch over here of all my electronics um okay i need to just sit down and figure out my day like i told you guys in my last vlog i usually try to plan my day um okay um <laughs> i have a lot of stuff to decide if I'm selling things, I don't know if this is gonna be entertaining for you. I don't know, I just thought I would vlog. People love vlogs, I don't know, so. Oh, my plans are looking a little bit droopy. <laughs> little bit. So as you guys know, I'm 24 and in a few months, in about a year and a half, I'll be kicked off my parents' insurance. We love to see it. So after I went to the dentist a couple days ago, I was like, damn, I really need to like look at some insurance plans, um, especially cause I freelance and like I need to find the most affordable. So I like put in like maybe like four pieces of information, like my name, my age, my favorite color. I like put in like find me some quotes or something. And when I tell you, I get 10 calls a day from different, from 10, from, from oh, 10 plus different insurance representatives. I can't even tell you how upset I am that I did that. I am getting texts, I am getting calls, and I can't even block the number because they're coming from all different parts of the United States. And I just, I can't believe that this is happening to me. <laughs> 
know, this is Dawn Sparks with U.S. Health Advisors. Hey, I know you're getting a ton of calls about your health insurance right now. Hey, I work with U.S. Health Advisors. Like, do you know how overwhelming that is as a young person who's never had their own insurance to get a trillion fucking calls? I think I'm gonna go ahead and empty out this hutch. So let's do that. Let's do it. <laughs> I have barely done anything. <laughs> I have barely done anything and the shit is hard. It does look pretty bare in here though, I will say. But right now I gotta take this shit off my shelf. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Okay. Oh God. That's fine, we're okay. For lunch, we are having on the menu, peanut butter jelly on. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly on hot dog bun. Uh, please do not, do not even ask. I'm trying to get rid of all the food in the fridge. You got me right? Honestly, bread is bread. Love is love. Hello. So I took a little break from moving three boxes. Okay, so this girl sells, like she curates vintage products and then sells them on her Instagram. And she lives in my neighborhood. And I just picked this up. It's like a little tray. I love it. Vintage! Okay, had to go do that. Hello. I took a four hour nap. I'm making a drink. <laughs> That'll make your pussy throb. Mm, okay, that's really good actually. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Didn't get much packing done after I, or before I napped. So that's all to be left up till tomorrow. It's tomorrow's burden, not mine. Let's eat. <laughs> Welcome back to day two, three. This is when everything needs to be moved because we are taking all the big furniture to my roommate's new house tomorrow. So that means I get all my shit out. Let's go ahead and do that. As I was going through my closet, I totally forgot about my memory box that I've had. Happy birthday, Kaylee Shabib, 2010. This was on my locker when I was in middle school. Bitches, bitches, bitches make me birthday locker things. This is something I made in art school, right? <laughs> She's an artiste. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Okay. The biggest pain in my ass, in my whole ass, during this moving period was taking apart this broken ass bed frame. I lost the original like tools it came with. So I had to find like this random piece of metal to try to unhinge all the screws. I'm not kidding, it took me like two hours to do this. It was so awful in so many ways. I hate this bed frame. I've been sleeping on it broken for months, but I figured it out. So go me bitch. A hee hee. A hee hee. Why do I look like this? Look at the bags. Jimbaggy waggies. Oogie. So to commemorate our last night here, we're making cocktails from the fruit that we need to use in the fridge. And look how pinkity dinkity it is. <laughs> I don't know why the. Mm. How y'all doing? Okay. Mm. I'm a little lit, I don't know if you can tell, but um, basically my roommates are starting to pack their small belongings. So I'm gonna make us some drinks, just, you know, drinking and packing. I probably don't need any more. Yeah! Little vamping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my God, that's so, wait, well, hold on, wait, sorry, sorry, what? What is that shot of? Uh-uh. Intrusive thoughts. Let me try it. Hey. So it's me back on the cam cam. Um, just looking at my room, looking at all the things that I haven't packed yet. This is definitely a weird moment. It's bittersweet. Um. 
oop, not the angle for me. <laughs> but I don't know, just there's been so many memories in this house and it's so weird to be leaving it. Like I never really thought about how COVID has made me so attached to my living space. And here we are. But yeah, I guess this is it till the morning and I will see you for the final move in day. Hello. I have not talked to you all day basically because I've been moving. Today, we moved all of the big furniture out that belonged to my roommates and into their new house. We will be moving all of my furniture, the very few pieces that I have, into my parents' house. So this place is a disaster. Um, there's shit everywhere, there's boxes, there's paper, there's just... So I'm here, there's no food in this house because they took it all and I'm gonna order food. It is so weird seeing this house so empty. Right now, girl, what was I saying? Okay, okay, food is secured. salad and they forgot it but not only that this just fucking happened oh my god this is not real this is not real all i want to do is eat not good hello welcome back to me last time i talked to you guys i don't remember what i said but i still have a lot of stuff at the house so i'm gonna try to get some stuff there so that's i heard something i hope that was nobody in the back of the car hello <laughs> my favorite tiktok is girl put your records on and then it's like put your seatbelts on Hello, bitch. So I went to Dunkin Donuts. I'm here at the house now. This house is a mess, bitch So I went to Dunkin and I got a really large coffee because I deserve it and they didn't give me a straw And I looked this is like the most amazing thing ever I looked in the drawer the empty ass drawer and there was one straw in there. I got these bagel things from Dunkin <laughs> In the beginning of the video, I told you guys we made an agreement with our landlord that if we found people to rent, we could break our lease. Um, we haven't had any luck. I posted on like a trillion Facebook pages. So, um, Anna, my roommate, was like, what if we just put a yard sign out? <laughs> my dad had this for sale by owner sign and like we're not selling and we're not the owners. So I had to <laughs> We're just using the word for. That's it. So I'm doing for rent and then just my phone number because I could do four rent by renters. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Yesterday, we basically did like a final clean and move out and it literally took like eight hours. We, were, we thought we were going to be there for like a few hours, but it literally took from like 10 a.m. to like 6.30 p.m. It was ridiculous. And then, then we had to come back the next day, aka this morning, to do like one last furniture sweep. And so we are leaving now and it's a little weird. Like I put my key down and I was like, okay, I guess this is it. Guess what I did, y'all? You'll never guess what I did. This is so bad. I broke my fan like right when I moved into that second room and I never got it fixed so I was like bitch I'm taking it with me you can't blame me if it just wasn't there so look a little, little me me memo what is it <laughs> memento bitch I don't know whoa no one opens the door um I guess that's all for this moving vlog thanks for watching if you like vlogs like this I will definitely try to do more you guys have been here from the time I moved in to when I left so thanks I'm about to say some really sappy shit, so just bear with me. Um, 
This house was one of the best places I've ever lived. And every day I was able to wake up and be with my friends and dogs. And I could work from home doing a job I loved and truly was able to call this place home. I know what you're thinking. It was a rented space. How could you possibly call that home? But to me, I personally believe that the people and the environment you create with those people are the ones that make a house that's made up of bricks and wood a home. I discovered a lot of things in this house. I started my business. I found that I actually have a work ethic. And most importantly, the self-confidence to be myself. <laughs> I know, that's so cheesy. <laughs> oh, that's sappy. Anyways, um... I most definitely leave this house a changed woman. It was only a year and a half, but honestly changed. I will never forget my time living here, and I want to say a personal thanks to the house for all the good things it brought me. Now, on to the next. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, that's it. We're done. We're done.